Hello all you Harry Potter fans. What? <laughs> Anyways, there's a Choro Q Harry Potter car. This is crazy. I, I don't even think I've seen this movie. This was, a, uh, I think, in, from the Chamber of Secrets movie. If I have seen it, I've only seen it once and I wasn't paying attention because I don't really remember this here. Uh, so, when did this come out? I don't see a date there, but I'm sure on the bottom of the model it will be there, so let's hope for that. I think this might have, might have been opened before. I don't know. The tape is yellow, but it just doesn't look really professional. Okay, let's see if there's anything else in here. Like a... Nope, that's blank. Nope, I don't see a date. So this is a Ford Anglia 105E, which is another car, you know, I've heard about the Anglia, but I never really knew it, much about it. This line of cars dates way back to, let's see here, 1939. We're talking before World War II, right? Um, and then it spanned several generations. This is probably, this Wikipedia tells me this is the fourth Anglia generation here. Look at the focus there for you guys. And then this would be powered by a one liter inline four up front. It's gonna probably be rear wheel drive, it doesn't quite say. It captured a, a few international world records, averaging like 84 miles per hour at uh, some sort of track, the Montfleury Autodome near Paris. So I don't know what they're trying to do, but uh, I guess for 1959 or something like that, 84 miles per hour as an average is pretty fast for a one liter engine. I guess that is actually quite fast. Over a million uh, of these cars were made. They were actually made in uh, England or the UK even though it's uh, called a Ford. You know, Ford has factories everywhere. All right, let's see what's going on with this guy. First, it says nice sky blue paint. Uh, the camera shows there's a much brighter sky blue. It's more pastel or something when I look at it with my own eyes. Uh, it's got some sort of circle, probably a badge there. The windows are relatively clear. They're not really dark. And then you got this cool little white line. There's more like a cream color uh, going printed on there. These are your stock Cherokees, but they don't look anything like the movie car. Which is weird. They, I'm going to swap, swap out some other Cherokee wheels, you'll see. Painted on yellow lights here. Really nice grill texture. And then this license plate matches the movie car. There's some sort of badge here. It's red on the movie car. And then you have uh, Harry Potter and what's the other guy's name? Beasley, I think. <laughs> it's a sticker. So if you don't like this thing, you can remove it and then you'll just have a, a funky cartoon, uh, you know, car. But, you know, it's so goofy looking that I, I'm going to keep it on. I, I really like the fun factor, the funny factor of these uh, cars. Nice little ribbing there. This side looks pretty much the same as the other side. Yeah, the, the roof here, you can see it, it's kind of like a cream color. And then you have a Harry Potter license plate, and then these lights are painted red nicely. Some hinges here, and then uh, the silver on the casted in bumpers looks okay. Now, how old is this guy? Oh, come on, it doesn't say how old it is. Maybe there's a production uh, code on the inside, so we're going to open this anyways. <clears throat> I have some uh, hubcap, well actually stamp steel wheels from Choro Q. They're, they're very common, so I save all my wheels, you know, for wheel swaps like this. <coughs> Boy, see this, this tab is always a problem back here. I'm going to try to push it out with my uh, phone tool here. too much paint on the body, or, or essentially the, the groove for this tab is not big enough. At least to, to remove it, obviously they can get it on, and they're probably not thinking about people customizing their toys, but I'm going to have to come back. Alright, 
it's just hard to do in front of a camera. All right, luckily there is a production code here. So let's see here. So it's the 11th month of 20, of 02. I'm gonna have to zoom in. My screen's so small I can't even read it. I think that's an 02. Or when did Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets come out? I'm gonna guess it's 2002. That's why I don't remember it. Maybe it's 2012, but it's, either way, it's an old toy. Uh, the reason why I care about the date so much is because, you know, you buy stuff used, it gives you a good idea of how much you're, you're paying, right? Is it worth it to you to buy, pay an inflated price on an old toy? I have uh, another motor housing here that I took the axle out, so we're going to put this all back. Here's the inside construction. You'll see, yeah, it's relatively light smoked plastic, but then they painted it just nicely. That's really a nice uh, skill set that Q does. It's odd because I complain about Tamika Limited Vintage, you know, being subpar compared to the other modern brands. And yet it's the same parent company, and that parent company can do such a great job painting a piece of plastic. All right. So the steel wheels, here we are, you know, these are very common Cherokee wheels. I added a little black, you know, Sharpie, Bring a, add a little more details. And although they're not hubcap wheels, I think they're definitely uh, closer than five-spoke mag wheels that, uh, you know, Cherokee decided to put on. I'm going to make this one steer. So yeah, I mean the thing just has, I think, stamped steel wheels with hubcaps, so I'm going to pretend the hubcaps flew off while they are flying around. Alright, uh, I have another Cherokee, another classic style, it's a Mini, an Austin Mini, obviously a very famous British car. And then I have a Ford, it's a Ford Thunderbird, so it's kind of got that American styling. Actually, the Anguilla and the Thunderbird have very similar styling, this generation here. Yeah, I, I'm, that's kind of crazy. I never even made that association before. So, it's one of the pluses, I guess, of collecting model cars. And just to keep that old uh, theme, here's a Kins Fun. It's a Chevy Stepside pickup truck. Seems to be a little bit of a different scale Kins Fun, but, or not. I mean, a pickup truck is tall, right? So it just has really, really big wheels. In fact, those Kinsfun wheels are actually a better match to the actual Anglia photo, but the front wheels are so big they won't fit inside that Anglia. <clears throat> well, naturally I don't have a cartoon figure of Harry Potter, since I'm not a giant fan of theirs, so... I do have a redhead, though. Woman with a gun. <laughs> so it's kind of like the Beasley, if Beasley uh, had a gender change. Okay, well, it's definitely interesting, you know, collecting these cartoon cars, you're going to discover a lot of weird stuff, and this is one of them, but I'm happy I have it. You know, it's definitely, uh, it was entertaining just talking about this thing. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next Churro Review.